First Impressions video brought to you by MMO Play. Today we're taking a look at a free-to-play browser-based game called Arcane Hearts. This is a fantasy RPG playable in a browser. Just gotta get a flash plug-in going and have at it. Going to feel a bit like an isometric action RPG, kind of like your Diablo Torchlight and whatnot, but with an MMO. So you got to have the open world and lots of other players, no instant servers. Although there's going to be a lot of zones right here, you can see I'm going to go through a loading screen, thankfully nice and fast. And these warp gates are all different areas, they have a level, or, or, uh, I wouldn't call it requirement, but hint, tip, go for it there. Also, this is a very, very quest based game, there's a lot of fetch questing to do, so hope you're a fan of questing. One thing is it does have an auto quest system, but it does not play the game for you. You actually do have to do combat, and you do have to use your hotbar. Mage, I'm playing to start off with five spells. Your basic one is what you spam if you're not clicking anything else. Two is your fireball, three is your ice, four is a mana heal, five is a AoE. It's a ground target. And then on top of that, you have a shield you'll get at level three or four. There's a skill tree you can specialize. I've been specializing fire, so I'm also using my fireball. Going through and killing a few things here. I got a couple quests. Also, there are dailies. I will show you some of the UI about that. This is actually for one of my daily quests today. You see the skill tree is towards the bottom. Well, about two thirds of the way over. It does light up as a little pet peeve. Even it says even new skill, even when you don't. I have already equipped the new skill just on my skill point. So that's just something to keep in mind, it is going to kind of yell at you a little bit. For looting, click on the monster, hit E, hit E before you loot, and it'll auto-loot everything for you. Nice little speed up technique. Other than that, I'm going to sit here and grind away on these boards for a little bit, complete my quest. Pretty straightforward, it's early low level MMORPG, and everyone knows what to expect nowadays. Overall, for a browser-based game, I would say it looks pretty nice. It feels... Oh, I'm trying to picture what, it would, what I would call compare it to. I guess Diablo 2 level, which for a browser-based, not too bad. Alright, let's look at some of the other options in the interface. Cancellation is another way to progress your character. It does basically take a lot of currency, but you can go ahead and give yourself other passive buffs, like completing these over time. It does take quite a bit of work and quite a bit of gold, though. You can see there is a bit of a story, kind of skipping through it a little bit. I'm mostly interested in the hack and slash combat. Now, in addition to normal quests, you have daily quests, you have missions, and other stuff gets unlocked over time. So you can bring up this little missions tab, shows you some of the local missions. You also get your daily quests. And then there's a couple more tabs which will unlock at higher level. Speaking of higher level, you'll get other things like dueling, PvP, plenty of other content at higher level. For now, it's pretty straightforward, just kind of go through and do some combat. Selling, a little clunky, you gotta drag and drop and then sell. That feels like a bit of a dated system, but it works, it's functional, you can sell to vendors. You can also pit, hit U to bring up your auction house and sell directly to there by just hitting a hotkey, so nice and easy that way if you want to trade with other players. You are given plenty of gear at low levels, there is a chest that gives you a basic upgrade to every about five levels, so you should be fairly well equipped throughout the game. I'm going to close that. And eh, cancel any of that stuff. It's all quest stuff. And the last thing we want to look at is going to be the skill tree. So, just get a nice safe area. Oh, oh, he's loud. You can see the spells at the top that are going to unlock as you level up. And in addition, you have the specialization tree. So, you have a fire tree. This is what I've been focusing on. You also have the other ones for the elements. Or you can get the mana tree if you want to focus on being able to just kind of regen your mana a little more quickly. Specialization is fairly basic. It's all basically passive skills, at least at low level. Ways of improving your fireball, increased damage, increased crit chance, that style of ability. And you do focus on one ability. At least that's what it seems like to me. Is the smart way is to focus on one ability. I'm focusing on fire. So over time, my fire damage will get better. For now, it's marginally better. My crit chance isn't high enough to justify the crit damage I'm doing. So the min maxer in me wants to go ahead and work on that with my gear. Speaking of gear, hit your C. You can bring up a character sheet. See the items you have available. Not too many slots, not going to be as in depth as some games, but probably a little better, a little more than Diablo 1 style. Like the game, check it out, it's available for free. Click the content, stay tuned to more for MO Play. 
gonna go kill some more boars.